Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a mission in the DCS AH-64D Apache and kind of tie everything all together a little bit. We're going to be talking about the kinds of threats that an Apache can face. Some of them. We won't cover them all in this video, of course, but some of the ones that you might not necessarily expect, as well as how to select targets and all that good stuff. There's tactics, everything like that. So we've pretty much got the Apache set up here. Hellfire lowball. All right, let's go ahead and take off from the uh, deck of the USS Constellation here. Very, very nice mod by Admiral 189. And here, at the uh, eastern end of the runway at uh, Tinian International Airport, we have a bunch of Russian vehicles that um, are advancing on the airport. So we're going to try to take all of those out. We have a full load of 16 Hellfires, so we are very heavy. We can see right here. I had to take my uh, hand off the stick to do this, but we can see here we have our um, Hellfire set up and ready to go. Let's uh, go ahead and get our uh, TAD slave to the appropriate area. Alright, so you can see there the list of targets that we have, and one of them is a short-range SAM. That is our primary target at the moment because we don't want him shooting us, so we gotta shoot him first. Please don't store. Right. We are in firing parameters. George, fire. Whoops. I accidentally set it to LOAL instead of lowball. Alright. Come on, George. Engage it. Okay, actually, let's, uh... Here we go. Alright, there we go. There we go. That's better. Now we're going to start dropping a little bit. I'm expecting a missile to be coming in any time now. Which is why I have set the, uh... Alright, we got him. So, I have set the uh, countermeasures to automatic because the computer will automatically deploy them before we would even have time to react, and that can be very, very useful in the Apache. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to reposition and um, have George look for another target in the same locale. And the issue is... We took out the missile launcher that was over there, but the problem is... Yeah, here we go. The problem is, there are still IFVs and tanks over there, and Russian tanks can fire anti-tank missiles out of their gun barrels. And then Russian IFVs obviously have anti-tank missiles as well. So I'm gonna have him take out a tank. Ah, and there that's exactly what I'm talking about. We've got a ditch out of this. So, the uh, missile launch detection has um, detected those missiles. I didn't even actually see them coming, but um, what's going on is those anti-tank guided missiles, which are extremely effective against helicopters if they're uh, not very on their toes. I'm actually going to set this to bypass so we don't lose all our uh, countermeasures here. But, um, you have to be very careful about that because they will shoot those at helicopters. Oh, 
Okay, let's... Okay, George, take out that tank. Come on, get him, George. Uh-oh. There's another missile. So I duck out of that. We're gonna have to um, be very careful about this. So we've ditched that missile. But this is actually kind of getting to be a pain because they are um, making us turn away from our missiles so we can't guide them in with a laser. Whoops, bit of a head tracker problem there. Okay, George, find that target. Uh, let's go ahead and take out that IFV right there. Come on, George, what's wrong? So this could be a bug. I'm gonna have to... Uh... Okay, that's another one. Target destroyed. Okay, finally, target destroyed. We had to close in a little bit there. I kind of wonder why he wouldn't shoot before, but of course we are in early access, so there could be any number of reasons for that. Maybe we weren't in launch parameters for some reason, but um, yeah, we have... Oh, oh! We have gotten hit. We need to get down and out of this. We got too close. Fortunately, we didn't lose an engine, although... And everything appears to be fine. Probably hit our tail boom or something, but... Um, it would certainly be nice if that weren't the case. Head back over here. Okay. Nailed that one. Let's drop back down again. And you want to make sure you use a fairly high power setting when you're down here close to the deck because too low of a power setting can seriously mean disaster. So we're gonna loop back around. I feel like I can probably get away with this one more time. Now because I'm looping back around I think that might be the reason why um, I'm having to Okay. Okay, that... Oh yeah, George is now um, engaging these tanks. Good effects, good effects. Okay. Whoa! Another missile. I can see the uh, indication. So we need to duck down. We got way too high there. And let's uh let's work our way back along here. Drop down. Power setting was too high. We're way too high right now. Just hanging out here where we could get shot at at any time. What do we got over here, George? 
One second. Okay, there we go. Good effects on target. Copy, ceasefire. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Should have been down long and not down short. Yeah, take out that IFV if you would. Oh, missile. missile, missile Target destroyed. Rotor on PM low. Rotor on PM low. Firing. Missile, missile, forward left. Whoop, 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 missile. That's really not good. Engaging. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to have to come back around here. Engaging. Whoa. What the heck did I just do? Yikes. Well, that was very unexpected. And to make matters worse, we're heading in the wrong direction into that incoming fire. Woo! Let's get away from that. That's probably the uh, machine gun on one of those tanks, but you never know. Sometimes the tanks will even shoot regular... Um, gun rounds at you and those are not to be taken lightly either because they move so fast that you absolutely cannot do anything about them they're just either gonna hit or miss come on okay there we go Whoa! More bad news. Keep an eye on where we're going. And this is what you do in the Apache, you um... You really have to um, fly nap of the earth, pop up for just a second, and take your shot. And that's pretty much the way it works. Engaging. Okay, we got a missile off. Come on, come on. Splat. Well, we're overflying the area, and if there was anything else out here, I doubt seriously that it would um, not be shooting at us. Yeah, we got them. We got them all. It took us a few extra hellfires than what I had expected. Let's see, how many do we even have left? Uh, three? <laughs> okay. Yeah, three out of 16. It took us, what, 13 hellfires? Well, that was, um... That was a little bit um, different than what I had expected, but honestly, I had kind of expected to get shot down because I'm not very good at this, but 
that is how you use the Apache with the Hellfire to deal with armored threats and anti-tank guided missiles as well as short-range surface-to-air missiles like that Strela that was back there that we prioritized and took out at the beginning of this combat engagement. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.